Well, it was high time to bring this back. You ready to rock, CC? Ready as I'll ever be. Okay, question one. Sienna, do you ever use your hair as a chair? Oh, all the time. It's really handy since most chairs on Earth can't accommodate my hair. On the subject of that, most worry about my neck with my hair. I'm here to tell you it's a-okay. Trust me. I've lived long enough in the universe to handle it just fine. <laughs> Number two, let's see. Uh... Sienna gives off pansexual energy for no reason. Is it okay if I HC her as pan? <gasps> Is she canonically pan? <laughs> you don't have to headcanon that, you earthlings would say, because it's absolutely true. Doesn't matter what you identify as, just be good to me and I'll be holding your hand in no time. See? Focus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Question three. What's your favorite mythical creature? <gasps> Dragons! Earthlings made so many beautiful designs of them! From small, big, fluffy, sharp, long, two wings, many wings, some that can morph like me, some become elements of nature, the creativity is incredible! It helps when they have a source material to use on that. Question four! Does your hair get tangled? <laughs> All the time. Mainly because it's already tied up, so if it gets snagged on one thing, it's a mess right away. Luckily, I can snap my fingers and fix it right away. I can't imagine the trouble it would be if I couldn't. Poor humans. Yep, big grip. All right, question five. Have any small creatures tried to hide in your hair? Goodness, humans are fascinated by hair, aren't they? <laughs> well, Grape likes to sneak in there when we visit Earth. I had to establish certain rules with him, because he would try to sneak in food. <sighs> I came home once, noticing I had fries lodged in my hair bun. Not even magic can clean out the smell of fries. That would never sound like a problem on Earth, really. Question six! What's your favorite pupper breed? And also remember to take care of your mental health. You too, PM. Ah, oh, thanks. Uh, they say she smells nice. I adore... Samoyeds! They're so big and fluffy, they're like big boofing clouds and just... Ah! That little boof they do is the most precious thing in the universe! <laughs> if I could sneak them into my place back home, I would. But alas, at least I have a big plushie of one. I'll settle for that, I guess. You're welcome, by the way. <clears throat> Question 7! Whenever Sienna understands something, does she go, oh, I see? No, but now I may start doing that. God damn it. Question eight. Your favorite type or flavor of cake? <gasps> There's chocolate cake and carrot cake and spiced vanilla cake and strawberry and cream short cake and raspberry and mocha cake and red velvet cake and New York cheesecake and... I think a shorter list is what cake Sienna doesn't like, which doesn't exist yet. Next question. Exactly how strong are you? Because I've seen that you're serious about working out. So the perks of being, well, celestial, I guess, is most of what I need is just pure energy to do things, not muscular strength like earthlings. Which is probably for the best, because after all, I gotta hold these two bad boys up. Sienna! What? I was talking about your channel and your spirits! Uh, uh, oh. Actually, that does remind me. You can shapeshift, so why did you pick that shape? Oh, well, that's easy. It's because it's cute. Valid. Anyway, next to last question. Can you give us some inspiring words of confidence? And maybe a hug? I know life is hard right now. And it's easy to say when I'm out... I'm trying to be supportive and my tongue won't no, it's okay, work! It's okay, it's okay. Just start over. Start over. <clears throat> I know life is hard right now, and it's easy to say when I'm outside looking in, but I know all of you are trying your best to overcome your problems, and I just want you to know I am really proud of you. You got this. And final question. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> to Sienna, do you actually know how to beatbox, or was that just a one-time joke for the Friday Night Funkin' music video? Uh, oh, 
Um, well, I had some help on that, but I could try it for real with you guys. Okay, you ready? Okay, here we go. It's the beatbox. Boots and cats and boots and cats and boots and cats and boots. <laughs> what? Why are you laughing? That's what I was told. No, 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 no. Yeah, you say no, boots no, and no. cats. You, you do the noise. You don't actually say the words. You know, like boots, cats, boots, cats. Oh! Let me try. Let me try. Okay. Boots, cats, boots, and cats, boots, and cats. <laughs> oh, I'm no good at this. I guess I could practice more. I had so much fun doing this, you guys. Thank you so much for all your questions. Be sure to ask lots more, okay? I can't wait for the next video. If you guys want to ask her more questions, you just got to hit up Tumblr. And to make sure that we actually see it for the video, start it off with to Sienna. See you later. So, since we got a lot of duplicate questions, I took the most frequently asked ones this time around for this video. So, ready, CC? Ready! <laughs> Alrighty, question number one. It says Sienna has based her physical form on someone on Earth. Who were they? Oh, Tanya! Oh gosh, she was this beautiful Earthling model many decades ago. Someone who is considered the plus-sized to what Earth considered a normal size for humans. And she was very proud of her looks, shape, and height. To me, she was the most beautiful human I ever saw in my life. I also honored her life by carrying on her last name. Sadly, she never had anyone else to give it to. She was so sweet. I wish I got the chance to meet her. Qu question two before we cry from the get-go. <clears throat> what happens to Sienna during odd moon phases like blood moon, super moon, blue moon, etc.? Oh, well, it's kind of a drawback to having made a physical form. My mentor has a similar problem during particular phases where they cannot control their dragon form. I <laughs> cannot control my bunny form. <laughs> Cute little corners of the wear bunny. She becomes extra fluffy. Shush! You know that nickname embarrasses me! Fine, fine, question three. Did Sienna really not know what a waifu was? <laughs> Listen! I cannot keep up with all the May Mays you Earthlings have. I feel like every day something new comes out that I have to research and understand. Yeah, but that came out like eons ago. A show called Azamanga Dayo coined it. Azamanga what the now? <clears throat> ne never mind, question four. Oh god, this one. <sighs> is Sienna a space milf? What is the milf? Oh, wait, I know! The man I like frogs term! I have never seen a frog in space, but I do love the frogs on Earth! Hmm, <laughs> got him. Question five. Sienna can shapeshift. Is there a limit to what she can do? It's tricky. I can only really change my appearance, but not my height. So if someone asked me to shift into a cat, well, <laughs> I'd be a five foot two cat person thing. Before someone tells them us question six, what would happen if a werewolf was hugged or even touched by Sienna? Huh, you know, in all my years of living, I've never tried that. To be fair, it's not like a human would out themselves as a werewolf, and even then, most werewolves in cinema tend to look very mean, so I don't know if I could. Or if it was the werewolf from Van Helsing. <laughs> Hush, you! Question seven. Can Sienna go out in the rain? I can, although... <laughs> Grief and Asai have a hard time. <laughs> the moment they get hit with that water, Grape swells up and Asai becomes a long, wobbly noodle. <laughs> it's like those crazy things that you see in front of the... Um, the wobbly men, you know? Um, humans love them. They're always in front of, um, car dealerships, you know? <laughs> Let's move on to the last question before you bust a gut. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Final question. 
How does Siano stay so happy? Um, honestly, I have my rough days. And that's okay. Everyone has rough patches. It was much harder when I was by myself for so long. But to have all these wonderful people, Grape, Asai, Shiro, Kevin, my friends on Earth, they give me reasons to smile more. And that no matter how rough the days get, as long as I know people out there will be there for me, even if it's just a simple message, I feel better. I hope that helps in some sort of way. But, but, but before we go, there is one final request from a certain someone. Grape asked you to translate this voice message for him. Huh? Oh, sure. <laughs> Lean into the camera and say the phrase... Arara. Wait! You both tricked me! Gotta go, everyone! Bye! Uh, apologies for the delay on this one. Someone has been very busy with other things. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been doing my usuals. You know, seeing friends, watching the humans. Breaking the YouTube by being you? Yes, breaking the YouTube. <laughs> no! Shush! Question one. If you unraveled your hair bun, how long would your hair be? Mm, I don't really have an exact measurement, but I know it's very long. One time, Shiro pulled on my hair ribbon, and the sheer magnitude of hair that hit him forced the poor man to poof back into his spirit form. <sighs> I thought it was pretty funny. Actually, that kind of answers the question, too. If you got really hurt in your physical form, what would happen? Uh... I try my best to stay out of trouble, but if something does happen, much like Shiro, I revert back to my spirit form and rest up how I can. Usually it takes a day or two to recover. That said, if something happens to the moon itself, like if it got hit to the point of explosion, well, I would become one with the universe again. Spirits like me don't really die, we just get rare chances to live like humans do. By sheer damn anomaly, huh? Who knew? You did. What? Nothing! Question four. Isn't there multiple universes where you exist? <laughs> Doesn't that apply to everyone? <laughs> Got him. Question five. What is your relationship with the other spirits like Solaria, Rey, and Shiro? Solaria, despite being much older than me, sees me as a big sister. Mainly because when she first met me, I was taller and bigger than her, so she kind of latched on to the idea. Ray, I suppose one could call my mother, in a sense, if I am to believe her story of being the cosmos herself, but I am not entirely sure. Uh, as for Shiro, uh, um, well, he's sort of, you know. They holding hands. It's not what you think! Ch Chiro is, um, very special to me, and it's not my fault he is so kind and sweet, a little blunt, but also equally naive, and his eyes are so pretty, and he becomes a big pretty dragon, and I just want to write, wait! No, no, bad phrasing, bad! Question six. Any interesting quirks or powers you have? <sighs> uh, <clears throat> right. <laughs> powers. Um... So, um, sorry, just... <laughs> anyway, powers, yes. I can create shields and any sort of protective barriers out of my own spirit. I suppose it was given to me out of my purpose with the moon to keep the earth safe from space debris and the sorts. I also learned in spirit form, my tears have rather profound properties, where if they make contact with existing primitive life, like microscopic sea animals or flowers, there's a chance they can create new types of life! Isn't that cool? Hmm, I wonder if I have done it before. <coughs> hmm? What was that on the screen? Nothing, just a, just a glitch, it's fine. Hmm, are you being the suspicious one? No. Don't lie to me. You really want to know? Yes. You sure? Yes! Tell me! All right. 
You ever notice how Grape and Asai are the only slimes on Earth who can form into elves or humans like you? What? Wait. Wait. Wait a minute!